So, I wasn't sure about making a talking portion to this video, but I have a lot of thoughts on my mind. I just wanted to share a little bit more than just a video about my experience here. There's nothing to say, of course. It's been really great, especially the weather. As you've seen, we're in February now and it was maybe 18 degrees, I think, today. So yeah, I could go to the beach, tan a little bit, think a lot. That's basically all I do is just think because I have so much free time and also because I'm very lonely in a sense. Sure, like I know people, of course, I go to Spanish school, so I have some friends over there. I met some people, but you know, I miss my family, I miss my boyfriend. I have people that I know here, but I don't have like actual real friends here. Getting a little bit personal, here maybe too much for my taste this wasn't what i wanted to talk about i just wanted to say if you're planning on going on a gap year or going somewhere alone for a long period of time i've been here for four months just try to learn about yourself if what you like is being alone or having time alone there's a big difference in between i've learned that the hard way i really like being alone like having moments alone but i don't like being lonely i don't know if you get what i'm trying to explain here but for example i had friends over these last two weeks and it was really fun now they're both gone the last one left maybe two days ago i think at first it was a bit refreshing you know like i could be alone again do my stuff and then i just kept being alone i love having a me day like a day just for me or even a week just for me but months months is difficult that's crazy to me because i thought that being here somewhere where it's sunny in this amazing house in spain and everything i felt like okay it's impossible to be sad i'll definitely be way more happy than i was in belgium but there is this thing about happiness when you don't have anyone to share it with it's like half happiness in a sense as if if you were to share your happiness with someone it would like double it in a way because then you would both feel it you would both appreciate it or talk about it if something funny happened to you and you would tell somebody about it then you know you're like both in the the thing in the story in the moment i don't know if that makes a lot of sense yeah i just wanted to show you guys what a slow day in malaga looked like for someone who's been living here for a while so obviously not going to see a kazaba or thing like that because i've already done it a few times but yeah five months since the beginning of my gap year and i still don't know i have ideas or like directions i want to go in there's nothing where if i think about it i'm like super excited and super happy about it it's all acceptable you know i don't feel excited which is very difficult to have this feeling of not being excited for the next years to come i know i'm 18 and i'm supposed to relax but i can't relax that was the talking portion of the video i hope it didn't mess with the vibe of it or the silence and calmness of the video. That's about it. Okay, thank you for listening.